Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. We're continuing our series of testing the various GR made 2020s air to air missiles against each other. We've done AIM 260 from America versus Meteor from Europe. It was this fight here, Rafale versus F 16. To our surprise, Meteor came out on top, at least at high altitude, and it won fair and square. Is that realistic? Well, no one really knows. All of these are done to just basic public wiki data. So you've got to take it with a pinch of salt, but it's the best we can do. Next, it was a bit of a weird one, but I just wanted to do it anyway. It was America's existing AIM-120D versus Russia's upcoming R-77M. It was very controversial. We actually got a draw. It's this one here, F-15 versus Superflanker. When it was AI versus AI, the R-77 one. When it was human versus human, A-121. However, However, the Russians did have problems with their AWACS, but we're going to leave it as a draw for now because I don't want to have to redo it all again, at least at the moment. Today, we're going to do European Meteor versus China's offering, PL-15. We'll come back to that in a second. After that, we'll do R-77-1, Russia's current BVR missile, versus Israel's IWER, currently run by India. Then, at the end, we're going to do a giant free-for-all where it will be all of these missiles here, the 2020s missiles, versus all of the 1970s to 1990s missiles that are in the core game. I think that will be a good way of ending the series. So today, Meteor versus PL-15. Basic statistics. Max range of PL-15 in ideal conditions, 122 nautical miles. Max speed of Mach 4, 500-pound missile with a 53-pound warhead. Conventional rocket motor. Meteor, about 110 nautical miles, Mark IV, 420 pound missile with a 53 pound warhead. This is multiple motored in that it has a solid rocket motor to get it up to Mark IV. Then it cruises on a ramjet until it hits the target. Very different way of doing things. Next, let's look at the details of the aircraft. Unless we show you these details, the fight doesn't really mean anything. The Eurofighter from Le Chaussas Nigris and its R version of it, GRV6, with the GR standardized AESA radar, a radar cross section of 1.5 meters squared. However, that will grow with external stores, so it will be more like 2.5 meters squared. BVR missile, Meteor within visual range missile, ASRAM, the flight model, and the damage model we haven't changed from the original mod. J-15B is Snowy Wolf's mod and we've changed it to GR version 3. Same radar, radar cross section is 5 meters squared, PL-15, PL-10 and we haven't changed the flight model or the damage model. Today's scenario. This is a scientific test as well as fun so we'll start with single AI versus single AI, multiple AI versus multiple AI and then we'll feed humans into the grinder. On the blue side we've chosen the Eurofighter. It's a good all round aircraft and carries eight meteors. Would you ever actually see a Eurofighter ever in history with eight meteors? No way. They're so expensive, it's just not possible. But we like to run all aircraft with max possible loadouts. As long as we do that the same on both coalitions, I say that's fair. And we've got four ASRAMs. On the other side, we've got China's J15, eight beyond visual range PL15s and four PL10s. So it's about as even Stevens as you can get. Slight reduction in radar cross-section by the Typhoon, but it's not really going to make any difference with AESA radars. And more importantly, AWACS. AWACS is interesting today. We've moved to a, and will do from now on, onto a twin AWACS setup for these battles. The reason is, if you watched our last battle, this one here with the F-15 versus the flanker, there was lots and lots of complaining from my guys that the Su-35 missiles weren't tracking at long range, you know, 100 plus mile shots and we checked it out in the debrief afterwards and it seemed to be the AWACS. The AWACS guides these 2020 missiles. The AWACS every three minutes or so flew at an attitude where its own wing was blocking its radar dish. So the data link cut out for about 10 seconds. Now if you play normal core game DCS this doesn't really matter. It just means the targets will go off your screen for 10 seconds and then you carry on. The way we have our missiles set up they are completely dependent on this data link connection. If they're cut for 10 seconds, the missiles will go dumb and you've just wasted all of your missiles. We're pretty sure that was what's happening. It's a difficult thing to overcome because you never really know what the AWACS is doing. So the first thing I've done is I'm setting all AWACSs probably from now on to what is the most reliable one. It's unrealistic, but it's reliable. An E2D from America. Its wings aren't as long and it doesn't bank as much. Therefore, it shouldn't cut its own radar off as much. Also, I have two at different angles 
phased slightly differently. So even if one goes out, the other should theoretically carry on. That's the best idea I've got at the moment for ensuring that we overcome that problem. We're going to start off with AI versus AI, one versus one, max skill level, fire at maximum range. Otherwise, they can do whatever they want. Guys, predictions. In terms of the aircraft, they're pretty much equal. They both go Mark II. They both do 9G. One slightly better radar cross-section, but it's not a stealth plane and won't really make any difference. My man is on the uh, Meteor. I think the Meteor will take it, but I think, actually, with the two AWACSs, it's going to make the human fight much more interesting. All right, the guys will say the Meteor. Uh, I would not have agreed if I hadn't seen the other fight, but I have, so I agree the Meteor. Have we massively overmodeled the Meteor? I don't know. I mean, who knows? No one knows. It's impossible to know. So it is what it is now, and we don't particularly want to have to change it all again. Right, first fight, stand by. And they're off, starting at 26,000 feet. They will climb, get to 40,000 feet, and they will basically go as fast as they can, which will be about Mark 1.5 with these missiles on. Let's have a look at Typhoon. It's 130 miles away from each other, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll give you Typhoon. J-15, it's a real piece of kit. There are a lot of people that don't like it because it's a kind of flanker copy, and it absolutely is a flanker copy. It's not an indigenous plane, per se. But from everything I've seen about it, it's actually a damn good plane, and I wouldn't write it off. And it's shown its metal um, in these campaigns that we do in DCS as well. So the first guy to fire will almost certainly be J-15. at a slightly longer range. Both have the same radar, uh, which is obviously unrealistic, but we can't sit and program 20 different radars. It's too much for us to do. We just maintain one generic AESA radar. On the plus side, I do love Flanker. I think it's one of the sexiest planes ever made. Agreed. I think the advantage with the Meteor here is that... Yeah, the advantage of the Meteor is that even though it's got slightly shorter range than the PL-15, it's much faster in the terminal phase, so the, meteor, the Typhoon pilot can press to engage the um, enemy the Meteor, knowing that he's got time to turn away and right. leave the missile to hit his target first. That may be what we're about to see, Matrix. That may be what the winning factor is. Let's have a look at speed. So the PL-15 has hit its Mark IV and it's now slowing. It's got no more rocket fuel in it. It's done all it can. In real life, yes, it would loft about twice as high as we've got it here. As ever, there are restrictions that we have to follow uh, to get these missiles to work. This is slowing down, but it's still maintaining slightly faster. Okay, uh, you can see the altitudes here. You cannot see their speeds. That guy is that fast, but that's as fast as the plane will go, whatever that is, Mark 1.67, something like that. And that is much slower. Look at that. Now, he's doing that's not because his plane is slower. He's done it on purpose for tactical reasons. He's making himself a harder target by... Uh, not going as fast it's just one of the things that ai do is it possible this missiles all oh, right it can happen it's all modeled and stop purely for science the meteor is at 50, uh, 47 000 feet which is about right it wouldn't loft any higher than that in real life because it's an air breathing engine it's 2400 knots about as slow as it's going to go about mark three roughly in my head pl 15 is much slower at this point about mark two and a bit or something like that uh 50 000 feet that would probably be about 80 000 feet in real life and go High five. High five. Next meteor's out. Meteor's out. Next PL-15's out. Again, AI are just a bunch of subroutines, so they'll just follow pretty much the same path as each other. Now, here's where it really matters. Just what Matrix was saying. The PL-15 is now dying because it's unpowered. It's a glider. It's burning its energy off, and especially if it's been forced to turn, which it is. The meteor is speeding up. Up, up, up. 2,400. Okay, maybe it's not speeding up, but it's certainly not dripping down as much. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. Now, it's so fast now, that guy, he's got no chance. No chance of dodging. Exactly what we thought was going to happen. Again, how realistic is that? Literally, and no one in the public sphere knows or is allowed to say. So, we don't know. But theoretically, the theory is certainly there. And look at that. This disc just got run out of, run out of guts. It's down to mark 1.2, 1.3. And to be honest, the plane is probably going faster at this point. Well, it's not, yeah, but... but... Yeah, sorry, go ahead. The danger here is from the second missile. Mm, yeah, which is, was fired closer. So, here it comes. Oh, he's turning in. Oh, Why the original. Well, yep. Oh, that's, that one's been dodged, but yep. Could it be a double KO? Go on. There he is. He's done it. Well done. Um, thingy. And that's just, it was just a better missile at long range. As simple as that. Exactly what we found against the AIM-260. It was a little bit closer with the AIM-260. But that's it, guys. 4v4. Um, I see a identical outcome. Does anyone see anything other? I think uh, half the Typhoons might get hit, but they'll wipe out all of the uh, J-15s. Roger, Roger. Now remember, value viewers, this is AI. AI is very different to humans. Humans understand these missiles and they dodge them. We'll talk a bit more about that in a second. One day, um, will we be able to get real AI in game? I guess so. Once you've got, you know, hyper, mega, super processors, you probably could. It's all about processing power. Look at that, it's rainbow. 
you could actually give these proper Google AI, but there is no processor in the world fast enough to run it in a game scenario, so one day maybe. That said, I actually like fighting against dumb AI. I would hate it if they could really think. I'm sure the value viewers would love it. Plus, you guys will be out of the job. And I need my beautiful humans. No, they're just after a leisurely stroll. Leisurely? It doesn't look that leisurely. There we go. Anyway, I love it how Grump says leisurely. Do all Americans say leisurely? That's a lot of violence in there, guys. Imagine how loud that would be in real life. Could you even imagine how... Oh, he's around. Ooh, they got... Look it's at that tactic. Violence. Oh. They got a tactic. He's doing a cross member. I hate it when I get my member cross. Never cross the streams. Mm -hmm. Never cross the streams. Maneuver? I think they fired a lot closer this time, but probably my eyes. I do have old man eyes now, valued viewers. God, I have so many problems seeing and hearing and thinking and remembering. There's a different tactic. Look, they've done something different. They've gone three and one and... These have gone two and two. The AI is breaking down. I wonder if there's a randomizer in there to tell them what to do. It's quite normal for different planes in DCS to do different tactics. Now, do we program that to do, do that? No, absolutely not. Well, you, you can't, as far as I'm aware. It just happens. Interestingly, now look how the PL-15s get a head start. They fired almost the same time, but they got there because they actually go a little bit faster than the Meteors to begin with. But the Meteors are now kind of catching up. You see that? And they maintain, I know we've already seen it, but they maintain that mark. 2400 knots, which is what? Mark 2.8 or something, roughly in my head? Where well, these just get slower and slower and slower. That could send a PL-15 down. Yep, only two. Why? It's because of the tactics of the Eurofighters. And why only two here? It's because of the tactics of the J-15s. They do these things called cranks, uh, offensive cranks. Because they're supporting a missile and they crank off to the side here. Stops the hostile firing a missile at a certain range. However, these two have not cranked. And therefore, they were getting shot at. Yep, exactly the same is happening, guys. Let's look at efficacy of these. Let's just watch here. Bang, 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 bang. Four kills because they're all going Mark three. Friggin' hell, it literally happened as well. All up. Grand slam. It makes us feel bad for getting shot down by so many... Oh, no, they're J-15s. They're not SU-35s. Doesn't matter. I've got myself confused. Oh, and look at the terrible, terrible efficacy of PL-15. Only one down. That's how it is, viewers. We just plugged the data in and the thing happened. So... I'd say Matrix about called it here. But called it here. Right. Anyway, that's AI. Uh, humans are not stupid. We're not going to fly around at Angels 40 when we know. And this is the thing in real life as well. Real humans are not going to be briefed to fly around at Angels 40 when meteors are in the air. Or PL 15s in the air. So immediately it forces us down. It's a way of forcing everyone out of the air. They're almost like area denial weapons, these are. And it forces everyone down into the mountains where old, old school rules come in. Which is why we want to do at the end of this, take these missiles and see if they're actually better than old school 1990s missiles, which only have a, a third of the range, because at the end of the day, it forces everyone down anyway. So everyone ends up in a friggin' sidewinder and gunfight. That's the one thing we're learning about this. Right, stand by for first human fight. Welcome in, viewers. First match, 4v4 on the Eurofighters Matrix. Uh, cap, I had to be Eurofighter, come on. Uh, George and Drop on the baddies. We've got Cannonball, Ricky, Bobby, Violet, and Grump. Our F10 map is set to data link, so we'll see whatever our AWAC sees when it populates. Bullseye is bullseye in the middle. We've got medium cover, I would describe as, up to about, you know, three or 4,000 feet peaks. What do you want to do, guys? Pincer, you want to go high, you want to go low, what do you want to do? Two guys on the right should uh, crank right, high and fast for the initial shot. Uh, you'll get shot at first, but you'll have time to get your own meteor, maybe two meteors off on the, for us on the right, the two right-hand guys, and for the guys on the left, two left-hand guys, and then cha start a chainsaw. So a couple of guys go 180 about, the other two, the leaders, go uh, uh, notch north and south, respectively. I'll certainly give it a go. Yep, I uh, love the notching idea as well, because it will ditch those PL-15s. Are you two on the left happy with that as well? Over to the left flank, or the, what would be, southern? No, yeah, southern flank? Yep. All right, yep. guys, I would operate a 50, this thing, fl is an absolute flight, slightly over model, but not, you know, to the point where it's a spaceship. Uh, good thing, or the good way that we could beat the, uh, the meteors is going down low and forcing them into that thick air. Somehow that causes it to get really slow and ineffective. Everybody's on the left, we'll go left. Everybody's on the right, go right. So that'll be me and Violet go left. Cannonball, Ricky, go right. We'll do about a 25 degree. Yeah, we'll do 25 degree offset off of 130. So whatever your reciprocal for that is, not uh, offset. When you do your offset, once you get within uh, shoot parameters, uh, turn into the fight. So if you're going, uh, like for example, Violet, you and me, we're going to uh 
Once we're on 105 and we get our shoot cue, we're going to shoot and then turn right Copy. into the fight. And then we're going to offensive crank uh, our missiles off to the left side while we're descending. 3, 2, 1, go. Good luck, everyone. Power on. And F3 flyby shot. Woo! Bandy viewers, one problem with the Eurofighter we've got at the moment is... Um, look out, look at the colours there. Now look in the windscreen, it gets washed out and turns white. Do you see that? Really annoying. And there's nothing I can do about it. Just got missile out, go on, cranking offensive right and diving. Target's on scope. Okay, I'm high PRF. Oh, no, I've blocked him already. Yes, the radar, our AC radar value to is overmodeled in game. We've done it on purpose to simulate locking someone on data link. It's the closest we can get to how a real system would work. Oh, I'm low, I'm too low. Cat Matrix. Send. I'll let you fire first. You go 180 degrees, nose cold, and I will chainsaw from there. Understood. Got them locked already. Uh, no, we've got data link here as well, viewers. AWACS, AWACS, lots of fighters. There are only Angels 20. Launch authorized. Right, cap is Meteor. Ow, wham! Whammy. Now, I don't need to support that, viewers. I can unlock and let the data link do it. Um, I'm going 180 break matrix. Roger. Anyone know what 40,000 feet is in meters? Annoyingly, we're in meters. About 13,000 meters. Okay. Duly noted. Right, 180. I'm doing what we call a radar notch, viewers. Also a kinematic notch at the same time. Oh, we can see them. And it's all fair and legal. If data link can see them. We can see them. They are, uh, they're doing exactly the same as us. So this should be weird. We've also got the same amount of missiles. Tell me Matrix when... North. They've all disappeared from data link. That means all the missiles have been scrapped. Arr! Why did it do that, viewers? Hold your fire until they're back on data link, guys. It's something we don't know. It's something we don't understand. Watch your fuel, guys. This thing burns through fuel like... Two of them are back. Why? Oh, it's because they've dived. In fact, I don't really know why it is. It's a thing. But it's almost certainly. Now, it's possible these meteors can get back on the data link. The chances are they're scrubbed. Cap's going in for a look. Right. Yes! My thing has gone for him. My meteor's going for him. I feel so sorry for you, Cannonball. I'm sorry! Our missile is just too good. It's still burning at Mark 3. It's missed. He's dodged it. Well done. Mental note, do not feel sorry for the baddies. I'm going to shoot, um, not George, who is it? Ricky Bobby. We can see our own missiles and data link value views. We can't see theirs, obviously, because they're not, they're not linked. Oh, just missed. I'm firing at Ricky Bobby. Get some Ricky Bobby. Again, that's it. I'm not going to, I'm just going to leave it to go on the data link. Good news is that data link um, lost did not scratch these missiles. Something about the meteors, they, they don't lose track as well, as much as the others when the date link goes down. Is the date link going down a normal thing in DCS? Yes, absolutely. It happens all the time. But because core game missiles aren't dependent on it, usually it's just an annoyance rather than catastrophic. Oof, that's a thing. That's a thing. Yep. You down? Yep. Great shape, guys. Check yourself out on F10. We've got a brilliant shape. Everyone's covering everyone. Cannibal sneaking through the mountains. Datelink's just picked him up. I think it's because they've all gone low viewers. They've all got behind the mountains. Cap spike. But I'm not really in any threat. They won't be able to fire at me. If I, because I'm doing a notch side to side viewers, their missiles don't have the legs to beat a notch like that, even at 84 miles. Our meteors have forced them down, which is well, that's what meteor does. Another thing about meteor viewers, it only really works if you fire it from high up, at least 25,000 feet, really. Anyone know where the fuel is on this? Doesn't matter, I found it from the UFC. 3,600 somethings, probably kilos. I'm gonna hit Ricky Bobby. He's got nowhere to dodge. Box three on Ricky Bobby as well. Yep, yep. I'm gonna paste him to little face. That thing coming down from space at Mark 2, Mark 2.5. There's not a great deal you can do to dodge that. Yeah, Ricky Bobby, I'll take that. Water Axe Fox 3. We're kind of swatting seals at this point, guys. Right, I need to get back in the battlefield. That's what I've got to concentrate on now, viewers. Which way is it? It's north. Water Axe Spike. Roger, some of you guys are in threat. I've got locked up here. Cannonball has got danger close 30 miles to you. Matrix turning cold. Data link is blind, blind, blind. Because they're behind the mountains. So if they've broken the connection between the you know, line of sight with the AMAX. I see a missile guiding. That's going to hit him. 
Oh man, I'm not looking forward to fighting the J15 today. Radar contact. Yep, see him. Two, uh, three, four, uh, three, four, zero. One of you is about to get killed. Oh god, I don't want to fight against that. Smash. Woohoo. I'm not even stretching our legs, viewers. Oh, there's three of them down, guys. I didn't even know there was three. Right, all on violet. Just charge her, guys. There's nothing she can do. She's down low. That miss I won't do very well down here. We're up high. We're shooting down on her. Charge that violet. I'm going up to mark two. Anyone know where the mark is? No. Somewhere. George, 40 miles on the nose. Look, he's shooting well, down no, on us. Oxford and Violet. Ha ha ha, Violet. And... Oh, I can see your missiles down there. Poor old Violet. Matrix cranking north. I got one of these suckers bearing down on you. A huge amount you can do. Oh, I'm almost out of fuel. We're going to have to go idle. Stop. I got hit. Hey, at least I, I feel a bit better that they shot someone down. She's dead. Come on, guys. Call this victory. That was easy. Uh, kind of went just as we thought. Just absolute superiority. Not of us, really. Not even our jets, really. It was the missiles. So I fired our first barrage at the same time you fired your first barrage. We had a massive date link cut uh, for about 20 seconds for unknown reasons. But the missiles reattacked when the datelink came back on. They re reattached themselves to you. Look at the difference there. Look how far. We all fired at the same time, look. In fact, they fired slightly before. Look how fast our missiles have got to. Hey, wow, well, Mark 5. That one got to Mark 5. We were just so high firing them so fast. Our ships, our planes are slightly overmodeled as well in terms of the speed they're doing. And look at the difference. These guys were already dying. God, look at that one there. Look at that one there that's chasing Cannonball. Look what it did. We turned around, chased him got lost and he's never really threatened us we've done enough we've gone full notching it by that point grumps first one out oh look at that we've got this lovely pattern as well we did actually quite well tactically look at that pattern and then we just start chucking them in and there is not a lot you can do the hills it appears just aren't big enough to hide behind oh, ricky's out just curved in for a kill right missiles out from cannonball but it's low down it's, n it's never going to threaten anyone Chase down. Violet does really well to shoot one of us down. But that's it. It's just the tech, guys. It's just so much better. Again, is it way better than real life? Who knows? There's nothing I can point to to say yes, it is or not. So um, we're going to swap around now and be on the Chinese side. All right, guys. We've got the inferior, slightly inferior plane, it looks like, and we have massively inferior missiles. How are we going to do this? The problem is, when I set this up, I had visions of us hiding behind mountains and stuff to keep us away from missiles, but the mountains aren't as big as I thought. I never actually fully tried it out. I really don't know what to do. I mean, the only thing I've got here is to launch an initial barrage. You know, we've, we've got more missiles than we're ever going to need, at least to upset them a bit. Then dive for the mountains, which is kind of what they do, and really hug those mountains. If we suck them into a dogfight, it's a 50-50. That's all I've got. Uh, yeah, I'd agree. Um, the high t highest terrain is to our left, so if we're going to hide, it's out to our left, to the north somewhere. Uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just stay up high. As long lop as we keep our distance. Loft the hell out of them. So, I mean, really all we have to do is loft uh, a lob uh, one or two of them. Uh, I would recommend just one. And then do offensive cranking. Me and Rick uh, Bobby. Going to go... Uh, Offensive crank right. We're just gonna we're we're gonna continue as a four ship until we got engagement, and then uh, Ricky, Bobby, and I will offensive crank right, um, and then we'll have Cannonball and Violet offensive crank left. And if we have to re-engage, then we shall. Right, viewers. Oh, I wish us the absolute luck. Three, two, one, go. Right. Radar on. I think the human variant of this have accidentally left the old engines on as well. So these are pretty slow ass planes. Um, there's always something I forget. Spike. I'm going to go high PRF to block them up. I can see them on radar, but I can't disambiguate them. Yeah, no worries. Trump's offensive uh, crank. Uh, right. We're quite low at the moment, guys, so get your, get your attitude. Yeah, I've got the old engine still in them. Look how slow I'm going. God damn it. Come on, big old gal. Missile, freaking meter on me already. I'm gonna get my missile off before I run. Yeah, two missiles out. 
All right. I would suggest go cold at that point. Let Dayling take over. Come on. Tap. Two missiles out. I'm getting out of here. I'll see you all in hell. Matrix Fox 3. Man, we are outclassed. Three. Guys, when you low down in the mountains and check your data link, make sure you just pop your nose up a bit before you do it. I don't want to see anyone crashing into the ground and it's a really annoying way to die. Matrix, which way did you say the high mountains were? North, so head 030 for the notch. Thank you. Cap 030 on the notch. Got plenty of fuel, guys, so use your burner, get fast. Don't milk. Look at them, my beautiful guys. We are really are the mice in this fight. They've gone full hide mode. We're gonna stay back and wait for them to reappear and launch at them. But we're gonna stay. We're gonna. We're gonna maintain standoff. How copy? Right, copy. Right, clear. It's now about finding the right terrain for us viewers. There's a lovely mountain at break. Okay, there's a lovely mountain I found anyway. I'm gonna punch for it. Yeah, when I looked at the mountains, they're all like 8,000 feet. I thought they would be really high, but then they're just basically sand dunes. The problem is we're up in plateaus here. Yeah. The strain height is quite high. Stupid. Are there, are, you know what, guys? If we go 070, there's some lovely mountains. Up. Well, the best we've got, I think, is 070. Point your nose there. You'll see some, some mountains. We all go there. We can maybe hide behind them, use them as a fortress. Yeah, it goes up to 9,000 feet. 10,000, 11,000 feet on the nose. Hi, viewers. This is about to get ugly. I mean real friggin' ugly. So we're gonna go there and try and shoot across this here. Doesn't look like any of our missiles are tracked, or at least not, you know. At least we've not been hit by the meteors, viewers. That's the good news. First guy, George is getting to the mountain. Alright, we've got one. Uh I'm going to I'm going to guy from down uh, from, from up here. Ricky Bobby, closest contact. Oh, that's cap. 326 for 84, Angels 11. I've actually noticed their radar cross section is helping them. They're, they're only tiny dots on the radar. So that is uh that is actually helping them. Didn't think it was gonna be as much. Effect. Right, we've got some good mountains and we're all alive. That's better than they were doing, guys. And we've all saved our fuel as well, which is nice. Here they come. They're charging us at 53,000 feet, 80 miles away. That's pretty much in our envelope for firing. Get to the mountains first, turn around, take a shot, get behind the mountains, guys. Do discipline. He's still 80 miles away. You will need to aim your antennas up to some degree. Uh, actually, about Angels 12. Back in the fight. He will be a vector of break 150. 150 high. We might get a chance to shoot him out the sky here, viewers. Okay, he's locking us. Where are you, sir? Where are you? He's up there somewhere. I can't see him. Drop, I can't see him. He's at 60,000 feet, that one. Yeah, that's a bit silly. That's a bit overmodeled. But never mind. Do the best we can. I can't see him. Drop. The fucking radar won't pick him up. I know he's there. There he is. Found him. Got him. Got someone. I'm about to fire. Mars, that's not him. Please put me in Wes. The hell, it won't get in Wes. I need to get in Wes, viewers. Otherwise, my missile's not going to track. I'm turning off, going cold. He's oh, cranking. Up. He's cranking offensively. I feel so friggin' inferior. About to shoot. I'm about to shoot. Oh, fuck him! Missile away. I just don't have the tech for this. Come on. Fire approximately two missiles each. Where's the chaff button? I'm safe, I evaded, I'm safe. And I got missiles on him. God, that was hard work, viewers. Shooting a guy at 60,000 feet turned out to be a lot harder than I thought. I'm getting in the cover of the mountain. Can someone else go and aggress, please? Yeah, I think they're just staying on the ground. That's fine. Uh, Ricky Bobby, Cannonball, both turn cold. Let's go back. Cannonball's going cold. Uh, cold. Yep, one, two, zero, one, three, zero is about your reciprocal. Yes, he's cold. The missile's after him. Okay, value viewers, if nothing else, it scared him away. It burnt his fuel. It's a way of beating a Eurofighter. <laughs> also, the split S seems to beat the Meteor pretty well. Even if you don't think you're being followed, go back to the mountain, hug behind it, just to make sure you've broken any AWACS track. It's just a good way of making sure you ditch any missiles. Oh, these old engines are so slow in this plane. Uh, you two guys, let us know when your firewall to knock in. Cap's clean, I've ditched the AWACS link on me. Heading back in. How much lookup did you have on the radar to pick him up? I don't know. I don't know. I, I was in such a I was in such a craziness. It certainly wouldn't have been above six. Yeah, the reduced I, radar I crossing. I picked up one of them. 
Yeah, it's Grump. He's hot. Angel's 30. And Violet. Okay, here they come. I've got target in front of me. Uh, 330. Two of them, I did link. Grump. Cannonball recommitting. Okay, they're all in a line on, in a uh, mountain range one. here. Three, two, one. Chainsaw. Fighter Infector is one. Yep, I got him. Ready and get shot at. Alright. I'm getting down. Grab me some on me. Screw off, Grum. Fuck! I'm hit. Sorry, guys. Good luck. And I hit Cap. Good kill. Good kill. Good kill. Next target's 321 for 85. Angels 7. Alright, I've muted my mic, but I can still hear them. God, that was hard. Really hard. Matrix Fox 3 times 2. <sighs> well, I'm funny. Problem is, because he's shooting from Angels 10, look. He's got no speed. It can't get any speed. It won't even make Mac. Two and a half. It's a useless missile. Whereas they will just rain these things Matrix down. Matrix defensive, turn speed. cold. Next target's going to be drop. Uh, Cannonball, I'll get this from you. It's I've got him locked. 327, 67, Angels 9. Behind he's him is drop. just turning cold, so I think he's locked. Roger, while it's still pushing, I'm going to see if I can jump over and get a missile off. Look at there's 5 and 40,000 feet. Violet's still pushing. Surprise me some more. I think it's a Mark III. <laughs> Look at these missiles have died because they were shot down from so low. They're dead missiles. This is my one. I made it. No, I missed him. God damn it. Yeah, I was locked up before I could get a missile off. Fox 3 on target. 335. And 100 kilometers. Okay, the boys have ditched them. See, the boys have ditched them behind them. Oh, I don't know, actually. Well, the drop's going cold. Pretty sure I've got a missile out on me. I was defeated. It's because they went behind here they ditched it. Oh, the guys are stuck in their little bastion, look. I wonder what the fuel of the EF-2000s are like. Another meteor app from Cannonball. Oh, we've got a visual of three of them on our in the group. You know what? The boys are surviving. They're surviving. Oh, Fox 3. We've got up to 20,000 feet. Better than nothing. And we've got missiles to burn. Am I seeing cons? Uh, missile trails. Us? Yeah, missile trails. Right. Oh, God. I'm getting locked up by something. Okay, if you got a missile out already, go ahead and turn cold. One three zero. Don't let them suck you in. That's what they're trying to do. Name to you, Violet. Turn back cold. I'm already cold. Copy. All oh, these missiles in there. Look, look how well the blues are doing. The massive standoff look attack they're doing. They're not getting suckered into the mountains. We want to suck them oh, into guys, the mountains. I can't pick them up. In a dogfight, it's time they spiked us and locked us. I can't even get them on the radar. They're doing. The blues are doing really well. Look, Grumps there spitting his commands at them. Missile on me. <laughs> Fox 3. Target 315 for. Uh, okay, stay out of afterburner. And I gain some height. I'm going defensive, got this lot on me. Matrix, it's only from 11,000 though, it's not going to do anything. Roger, I've lost my missile. That's one not fire. Uh oh, a thing is happening. You can see when they're firing. They're so tracking. High. It's tracking. Yep. Matrix Fox three times two. That's Matrix, sir. He's tracking someone. How high is your red eye looking, it's Matrix? Still burning. Come on. I've got it at it, it, uh, plus it, eleven it. at the moment. Please. Oh, crikey. Okay. Please dodge it. Run out of fuel. I hate you so much, Meteor. They definitely turn cold at the moment. They're trying to draw us out of these mountains. Yes, it's out of fuel. Finally out of fuel. What are Fox three? Yeah. We've got the fuel there, guys. Just. It's like a horror movie. Keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, I got target in front of me. Three, one, five, uh, 100. Nice. Oh, What's up? Coming in for fight. Strike's gonna kill one. They, we finally run out. They're too far away from safety. No, no. That can't be dodge. That cannot be dodge. Oh, I'm down, guys. Sorry. God. You know what? We're still in it. Don't give up. Let's check the missiles. Ricky Bobby. Three. Damn it. Violet. Four. Damn it. Grump. Three. They've still got plenty of missiles. Oh, I hate Eurofighter. We're firing at them. We're firing at them. We're scared of them. We're scaring them away. Look. But... This one's slow. Look, he's fired it low. Finally, we're wearing them down. That's a low meteor. So it's going to be used all its fuel up. It's not going very fast. Look, it's only Mark two. Shouldn't be a dangerous Matrix, meteor. Did you Fox 2? Hopefully. 
Fox 3, yeah. Uh, I think that was also one of my IR missiles, so Fox 1 is Fox 2 as well. Oh, hello. I just see where you fired Hell from. Hell friggin' low. Oh, he's run out of energy. He's tracking. Oh, look, it's so close. It's run out of speed. That would have hit him as well. Come on, friendly firing, friendly firing. That's the problem. That was fired from 50,000 feet, and look how fast it's going to get. It's going to come down on you like a ballistic missile. I'm not sure. Uh, right, AWOX is showing uh, you've got Violet and potentially Ricky Bobby, although he's gone cold. So you've got Violet 193 for 36 nautical miles. She is at 46,000. I bet the fuel's well, really never low. never mind. I figured out why uh, I'm not getting any thrust. I'm out of fuel. Tracking, but it's dead. Look, 600. Oh, no, we've run out of fuel. The thing was, we're forced down low, low, a turbo fountain engine. It's so inefficient. Take a missile down with you. Do something. Do anything. He's taking a missile down with him. At least he's doing that. <laughs> oh, dude. I'm down. Grab Splash George. Or War Dogs. Not poor War Dogs. Cannonball, let's have Hugh go due east. Ricky Bobby, continue on course. Ultraviolet, find somewhere, somewhere uh, flat to land. And make that butter because that is, uh, that is, there's an airfield down there. Just Matrix against the world. Well, I pumped out three P-15s right before. <sighs> Four missiles. I'd like to try and keep it that way. I'm going to stick to the high terrain. There's a ridge taking me towards us, so I'm going to sneak in behind that. Ooh, You've got three plan guys. Is, the plan right. is to try and sneak underneath Violet, uh, climb vertically and get her with the old, um, IR missiles. Yeah, this is, uh, I think it's only going to end one way, but we'll give, see what we can do. So this is still tracking. His nose is twitching. Butter is now one nine nine. That means you're fifty five. These missiles are friggin' T one thousand terminators. I'm gonna try and sneak across this flat area, this uh, wadi now, and get across to this ridge on the other side. Yes, suck it. Roger, Angel. she is now Angel sixty two and climbing still one nine eight from your position, thirty nautical miles. Not knows on view. I so think we're gonna have to put our own flight model in this. Look, seventy thousand feet. She's cruising it. I can't <laughs> do that. Uh, yeah, I'm not firing unless I'm within five miles of her. Roger, understood. I'm trying to use this terrain to sneak up on her. So once moment. I'm underneath her, she won't be able to see me. So then I can just zoom. I think that's missed. That's well, missed. It's now sixty-seven. Ha uh ha! -huh, you missed. He might be going for the AWAX. Quite possibly. Yeah, we've got two of them like this oh, one. Really? Not to be honest to us. But if she goes for the AWAX, then um, it means she'll be distracted. So if one she AWACS does. Down. The other AWAX available to her to fire at Matrix does pull her on a course towards you. Understood. You've also got Ricky Bobby oh, pushing up God. on you now. Uh, he is 11540 and he's going to be 56. Yep. Oh god. See where it switches from data link to um, its own radar. Boys are about to go blind. Alright, you blind boys, you can't help now. They can't find him. AWAX can't, because he's notching his load, the AWAX can't see him. Pitching up. Hopefully he can see her on his electro optical system. Are you there? Uh, Edit to Shiraz. Yep, Shiraz is going to be... Oh, he's, he's, right right on you. he's right on you, he's right on you. Cannonball, go 276-52. Ricky Bobby, three, uh, 238 for a 35. I'm headed that way, but I, he's off radar. Yeah, he's right next to uh, Violet. Violet, you might want to F5 and see where he's at. Uh oh, she spotted her. Then, words. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's definitely a thing. Tiny Violet. Uh, oh! Keep flying. Ah, oh, goddammit. Uh. Matrix down. Unlucky guy that's got blown. Uh, that's the best we can do in these Chinese jets. Well done, everyone. And no fuel. <laughs> and no fuel. Yeah, and no. And no fuel. That's unfortunate, Matrix. I saw you for a blip, uh, blip right. for a second when you're doing for your going for your attack, and I directed everybody <laughs> towards you. <laughs> no, just so outclassed technically, guys. The plane is massively outclassing at the moment. I think we need to nerf it. It's got a bit silly when I see him flying idle at seventy thousand feet. So we'll do that. Uh, and the missiles are just too good, guys. Uh, we've answered the question. I don't think there's any point of carrying on per se, but I've got an idea that we can do. Uh, why don't we purposefully skew it? Why don't we get all of what we consider the best pilots on the J-15 side? 
and the not the best pilots on the Eurofighter side and let's see if we can overcome our massive deficit just with pilot skill. Welcome back guys, we thought one more, because it's so imbalanced at the moment, we thought we'd just try putting, well, what I consider the best pilots. I may be wrong, you know, I'm just having a guess here really. And I need to put myself on for filming purposes. So I put Violet, I put Grump, I put Matrix, and I put Ricky Bobby, George, Drop, and Cannon in the blues. Watch us get thrashed even more here. Don't know how to win. The best we did on that time round was we went to a mountain range in Yankee Papa. There's a lovely mountain range there which allowed us to continue. What we did is every time we fired a missile, we dropped down behind that ridge, broke the data link, and that kind of saved us from the missiles. Eventually, you got through. Don't hit anybody. We've got much more realistic flight models, so it takes ages to get up to speed, where they're obviously Mark II in no time at all. Right, we like the adversary, guys. Make sure you get high, uh, high Doppler. They've also got a smaller radar cross-section, which is a massive pain in the butt, as we turned out. Ground Fox 3. Yeah, keep pushing. Does anyone remember the vector to um, the place? It was east, no. Yeah, it was east, wasn't it, guys? Come on, yeah, the try about 05060. Matrix Fox 3. Pulling out the bloody sky. I'm out of here. I'll see you all in hell, probably. Uh. Alright, viewers. We are so freaking out class here. Zero four zero. Yeah, whatever. Okay, it's near enough. I'm going zero four seven. It also takes me to the mountains. In a mill power dive. Check the countermeasures. Strike. I'm clean, clean, clean. I'm allegedly clean, but I don't believe that. Huh. Last time I was clean and then I heard a beep, 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 dead. Huh. Oh, that is a meteor trail up there. See that, viewers? Oh. They go pitbull at like two miles away, I noticed, which is a real friggin' problem. Matrix Fox 3. Wow. The problem, Matrix, is you're sending them at 7,000 feet, so it never breaks Mach 2, so it never even makes it half the distance. Our missiles never make it into thin air. Look at it. It's already it's already slowing down. It'll only, it'll only go 30 miles. I'm going to get myself in a position to where I can zoom climb. Yeah. Lava missile and then hide behind this mountain that I'm right next to. My word, Matrix, you sent him to the ground. Look at that. I just want to have a little look. I just want to have a little look over there. Just let me have a little look at him. Here he is. George! Oh, George! Cap. Ground Fox. Fox 3. Two missiles out on him, and I'm going to my mountains. And it was in Wes. If I get yeah, a kill, I'm so freaking happy George. with myself. Screw you, George! I got up to 40,000 feet. They're going to Mach 4. No, not Mach 3. Poverty, poverty, Shit, I've lost the mountains. Poverty, poverty, okay. poverty, I'm lost. Poverty, no, I'm fine. fine. And I've lost some missiles. All right, all is well. Zero five zero cap. Thank you. Fox three on second target. Back on thing. Watch out, pilots over there. My missile's yeah. still Mach two and a half, viewers. I could get a kill. I could potentially get a friggin' kill. Violet, 12 o'clock, range 10, angels 40. I can see two uh, smoke trails from him. He's just put two break meters on us. Ah, oh, George's turn is high-towered, you son of a bee. Captain, it's no problem. Oh, no planning on mission. I thought I, I saw... That's sweet, sweet overdue is what I'm in it for, guys. Ah, uh, the missiles, they never, they never got him. So I'm worried about that yeah, one. Yeah, like, GTI no. support. Hello, Simba Wimba. Yeah, we'll go for a GCI right now. Pilot, 108 for 11 nautical miles, Jeez. Angel 7. Careful, Fox Violet. Turn. Look at that break. Uh, Simba turning up at work. I like this. I've got a shot on him and I'm taking it. Fox 3, suck my fat one. Gonna try and get behind the mountain to you, block it. You might get a kill. Uh, do you want to watch? Uh, 40 mile shot at best. Right, I gotta it's watch. Never gonna make it. You guys yes! Close threat is 49 Splash. miles. Well done, Violet. Top, bad Violet. Top killer today. Careful, Violet. Baddie coming for you. And you, you're wrong side of a mountain, Violet. Check date link. Fox 3. Get out the other side of the mountain. Get north, north, north. Copy. Right, I'm trying going to 40k and down lobbing something. Oh. I'm just going to follow this ridge on the uh, other side from them, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, see if mm -hmm. I can hook them. All right, careful, don't overcommit. Target 150 for 170. Too far. Clear. Violet Fox 3. They're too far away from you, I think, Violet. They're 40 plus miles away and you're... I don't know, I don't know. Be lucky if that doesn't run out of battery life. And Cannonball's gone. Oh, we've lost and a Hawkeye. Anything to get them in defensive. We've just lost uh, an Overlord, but we've still got one. So Simba right. is still active. Grump. Okay, who's closest to the uh, the Hawkeyes then? You. Then there's a guy trying to sneak around your break right hand is side. That, is, is that, that guy? Cannibal? You, yeah. He's trying to sneak around to get the Overlord on your side now. Nope. Nope. Nobody. I'm making it that that direction. They are. I can't see trying to lure you guys to them. Yeah. I think I see a singleton. Hello. 
Uh, you're heading is 147, but Cannonball is heading east, turning to the north. Stand Matrix, off. you have nothing hunting you over there. Stand off around this flatland, viewers. No one can get in it without dying. Cat, I'm not going to tell you anything, but flatland is not going to be your friend. Well done. I'm kind of doing it on purpose. I'm trying to keep their attention, and I put a notch in every now and then. Uh, I was too low to the ground when I launched the missile on that one. Ah, uh, gutted. That's flatland a problem. Flatland is not your friend, Cat. I know, I'm getting out. Out with the ship, goddammit! Matrix engaged. 180. 180. Notch left, Matrix. I was going cold. Defeated. Cap, cheek 180 degrees right. Now. Oh, God. Sorry guys. Violet heading 116, look up at 50,000 feet. He's 26 yep. miles off your nose. I'm not seeing him on radar. Ooh, he's easy. Yep. He's coming down, he's at 40,000. Yep, he is now turning Fox southwest. Three. Bad missile, bad missile, that's a Fox 2. Fox 3. Come on little PL-15, do something good for once in your friggin' stinking life. Alright Matrix, uh, you want to head left, heading 260. Cannonball's climbing to 40,000. Uh, right, right 260. No avoiding that one. Oh, you. Oh, yes! Flash. All right. <sighs> Violet. Flip 180, get low, find cover. Go to heading 283. Heading 283, Violet. Box heading 283. Aggressively go to 283. I'm worried about this. Look at the speed of this. Violet, light the cans and get it everything you got. Go heading 259. Yep. Let's see the missile. Oh, the Matrix, you beat it, you went one hill and you beat it. Amazing work. Oh, we've reacquired. God damn it, that's unlucky. Ah, frustrating. Talk about wrong place, wrong friggin' time. There's a bloody aeroplane there as well, I was about to have it. Two versus one. Violet, two, three, one. Oh, no stripes, Violet. Copy. Fuel 1500, just got the call out. That's not too bad, that's 3,000 pounds. It's probably more than they've got. Uh, she also kind of has them in a position where they right. can't just immediately dump for the Hawkeye. Mm -hmm. My that's... biggest concern would be Cannonball. If he, he's got to, to shoot that, he to shoot it down, he's got to go up to 40,000 feet. Yeah, and if we're keeping the pressure on him, he's not going to have the chance. Well, the Hail Mary's tracking. I don't think it's going to kill him. All right, you see that valley down into your right? So pop up high, remember where that valley is. I will tell you when to go down into the valley. Missile. That's fine. Stay where you are. Stay on heading. 295. 132 o'clock is the valley down to your right. Hit that valley, that mountain peak that's going to be on your left. I want you to stay low. Stay on heading 299 for now. There should be a valley on your left really quickly. Come out of this valley. Left hand turn. Be in another valley. I want you to get. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to get ready. Your target's going to be at 23,000 feet. And when okay. you're ready, pull 156. Lock, fire. Yep. You're going to climb over that mountain peak. You're going to try to acquire. You're going to fire. And you're going to dip right back in behind those mountain peaks. Yep. That is not what heading 156, Follow That is not heading 156. Come left. Come left. Abort. Abort. Talk, sorry. Go cold. Yep. Dodge, dodge, Go dodge. Cold. Kick the cans. Go on, Violet! Go on, Violet! It's gonna be close! Oh my god! Oh, let miss on my kill. So close. Miss on my kill. Oh, miss on my kill! Yes, good kill. Oh, just one left, and it was dropped, and I'm pretty sure it was out of fuel as well. Oh, God, that's the best we can do with the best players. All right, guys, well done. Man, that was freaking hard, right? <laughs> one, yeah. just just one left. It was so close. That was good to watch. That was close. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Missile's better, plane's better. Uh, there's nothing much to it. But well done, guys. You've done so well there. I know where to do it, coaching and stuff, but, it's, you know, you, you need it, clearly. There is no doubt that Michu, as we've got it modelled, massive disclaimer, is just the king of DCS at the moment. That is as thoroughly as you can test it, pretty much. <laughs> the one thing we've got left to do is we'll get all those missiles, we'll put them against old 90s missiles and see how they fare and what a difference it makes. Guys, well done, and I will see you all tomorrow.